Hi, Alan Schimmel here, DevOps.com, day two of Jenkins World in Santa Clara. And I'm happy to be joined by Sasha Lebue. Labouré. Right? It's like Labouré. Labor Day, but you remove the D and you're good to go. Okay, Labouré, <laughs> uh, CEO of CloudVee. Sasha, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. Sasha, it's been an amazing two day event, right? I don't know if this exceeded beyond your dreams, but having this many people here, this engaged, and you know, the buzz, you can feel it. It was a great, great. That's Jenkins World, I'm, I think you would agree. Yeah, a lot of passion. Yeah, yeah, I was very impressed by the passion. Uh, people from the community, people from large organization, a really interesting mix. And, and just the, the setup, I, I thought as well, was very professional, so it was yes. great. It, w it was, I, you know, and I've heard that not just you and I talking I, and speaking to a lot of people, all, all only good things to say. And, you know, there was a, a, a many announcements uh, DevOps Express, new, new Jenkins functionality, new CloudBees functionality, as well as many of the partners and vendors, sponsors here also had some significant announcements. But I wanted to talk to you today, Sasha, at a, as the CEO of, of CloudBees. And, you know, let's be clear, CloudBees is the benevol benevolent ruler of Jenkins, right? Or the benevolent manager of Jenkins. Yeah, I, I understand why you're, you're saying this. Uh, I, I just want to say that Good. in my previous life, I was at JBoss. Yes. We had a very different approach to uh, the relationship between open source and the company. So the company was very close to the project in terms of quote-unquote ownership. And you, you can see it in many business models uh, when the name of the company is the name of the community, right? Yeah. Think Docker, think uh, 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 Mongo, JBoss, and so on. So you have a lot of those. Uh, that's one way to do business. Mm -hmm. And you have another type of companies. Think about Red Hat. There is no Red Hat project, right? No. Uh, think about, uh, well, uh, CloudBees and Jenkins. And you have others. And I think it leads to a very different approach, um, more of a church and state separation. Yes. And that has the actually an impact the on the... Bizarre. Yes, uh, and that has an impact on the business model as well. So I, I agree with you. Yep. So, in, you know, I'm from the security world, and, and my what I always use as my measuring stick is Snort and SourceFire. Right. right. Snort was the open source IDS engine. SourceFire was the commercial right. entity around it. But no matter how we want to slice and dice it, the fact remains that the Jenkins community is probably one of the most passionate, largest, engaged communities that we see in the open source space, and certainly in the, in the DevOps space. I mean, Docker is, you know, Docker is big, obviously. But Jenkins, I mean, it, the proof is here. My, my, my questions are, you had, as you said, you've done JBoss, right? Tremendous success with JBoss. Different model, different times, different, right. you know, circumstances. I would like you to share with our readers as the CEO of CloudBees, what is the vision? Like CloudBees is succeeding, but how do we? How does it meet your vision? Where is your vision? Yeah, I think um, it's it's in steps. So it's not uh, it's not uh, you know uh, it's not going to happen overnight. We see that transformation right now taking place, uh, where software understand or companies understand that they need to become better at producing value through software, mm -hmm. and. You, you're going to hear a lot of companies, but actually when you open the box, a very few do the, uh, you know, do the right thing entirely. They typically do it for a team or two teams. So it's still very early in the adoption. And yet, it's already pretty big. You know, when you look at the phenomenon, sure. it's there. But in terms of, of implementation, it's, 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 it's hard, right, yeah. to, to get them. So for CloudBees, I think... Um, we are trying to uh, focus on CI, CD, uh, and I know one of the questions I'm being asked uh, frequently as a, as a business is, where do you want to expand, right? And, and to me, the question is not at all about expansion right now, and I don't think it's going to be for the next few years, because there is so much to do to provide a complete environment that is this, migra this, 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 this continuous delivery, essentially, for, for companies. A lot of things. And you see it uh, today, right, with uh, first in open source, a new UI, uh, an easier way to do pipelines. Uh, you, do, you see it in the business with uh, Jenkins Enterprise, meaning an easier way to consume as a company bits coming from the open source, a better abstraction, uh, how to operate at scale, 
uh, in a secure fashion, removing as many hurdles as possible. And I think just doing this uh, uh, is, is going to be uh, a tremendous amount of work. And our focus is to deliver on that first and foremost. Absolutely. So I, I've been involved also in open source for a long time, more, more in security. Uh, how do you decide... So we gave Jenkins, the open source Jenkins, Blue Ocean, I think, I think it's called, right? Right. Is, is the UI and so forth. Where do you draw the line on, this is something we, we put in the open source community version, this is something that goes in the cloud, bees in the enterprise version? It's Where a great question. Um, initially, it was not very clear for us as a company, and, and we, ha we went through a bit of discovery to get there. And... Um, Actually, we, we, I was just talking about that with, with somebody from the community because uh, let me give you an example of what went wrong. Okay. You know, we, we decided to work on a feature. Actually, it was a Docker integration. And the goal was for this functionality to be part of the product, not mm -hmm. to be part of the open source. And at some point, we had a board level discussion uh, on this. And the conclusion we reached was, well, we should really make that open source. You know, let, let's put it out there so that as many people can, can, can use it. it. And so we dropped the code in open source. And big surprise, right? Suddenly you've got plenty of lines of code coming up, falling from the sky pretty much. Mm -hmm. And that created tension with some people. So there was no desire of evil there. It was just a change of, of, of strategy on, on right. our side. Um, but really, what for us was just a simple decision ended up being perceived negatively uh, through the community. And so after that, we did some, some uh, introspection and we came to the conclusion that anything that would have to do uh, with developers, so we have different persona, right, we focus on anything that would be the developer persona would be in open source. Okay. Anything that would not be developers think about administrators, uh, uh, you know, analytics and things like that. Well, that's open to discussion, but it's likely that those we'll will end up mostly in the product, right? But having so this, this nice line, line is very healthy. Yeah, that's a, uh, and not only that, it's a clear red line, right? This is a developer. Exactly. If you're on the left side, no worries. Do whatever you want. Bring value. If you're on the other side, let's discuss first. And that, right. that does do that. I mean, and that, that is a, a great way of looking at it. I didn't realize you were doing that. So it helps the business. It helps our own employees. And uh, uh, it also helps, I think, the community because CloudBees becomes an entity that's much more predictable in how it behaves. And, and that is, from the community's point of view, I mean, you look at, for instance, when Oracle took over Java or MySQL or these... Yeah, the community or freaked Hudson. out. Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was avoiding that one. <laughs> but I had a mental block. <laughs> Communities freaked out. Right, yeah. Right, because it's Oracle. But putting the, the you know, the, the, the Darth Vader aspect of Oracle to the side, communities want stability, predictability, and they also want to feel a sense of ownership. Though it may only be that the amount of people who actually contribute code, you know, you can count on your hands and your toes, uh, you know, for the most part, that doesn't diminish the community's feeling of ownership right. of a project, right? And, and you can't be successful kind of pissing off the, the, the community like that. Yeah, there, there is, in, in all open source, there is a strong feeling of meritocracy and desire for respect. You know, and and uh, communities from that standpoint are no different from individual human being. Yeah. They want to be treated with respect, um, and 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 so if you if you do anything that's going to go against this, you're going to pay it at some point. And you might not pay it cash when it happens. You know, sometimes it bubbles up. It takes time, uh, but uh, the no, slap no, will come back yeah, at some there point. There is a there's a, there's a price to be paid. Exactly. You're right. So Sasha, we're just about out of time. Just real quickly. Tremend again, tremendous success here. What's next year's Jenkins World look like? That's a great question. Um, I'm a bit freaked out to be candid with you because you always want more, right? How but it was this? so big, right? Yeah. 1,500 persons, uh, huge sponsors, uh, great presentations. I mean, um, I don't know. I don't know. I need to cool down first. Okay. Um, but what I liked, though, was, uh, you know, we had this DevOps Express uh, presentation, yes. and one of the journalists told me, um, well, maybe next year you should really do DevOps World, because this is really the place for DevOps. This is really the hub 
of, of, of DevOps. So obviously this is a Jenkins conference, so it's not going to be DevOps world. Right. But I thought there was some level of truth. I, I, I meet uh, with a lot of persons who are not directly from the Jenkins community as contributor or consumer, but they are also uh, uh, partners, companies around. I was uh, uh, just in discussion uh, with Olivier Godin from Sonar, uh, Sonar uh -huh. Source. He sure. was there. So, you know, it, 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 it drags a lot of people around well, the no, ecosystem. Well, is, is the, the nexus. Right. Oh. It's a bad word to <laughs> use with Sonatype, <laughs> but, but CD has become the nexus of the, of the DevOps and, and and frankly, Jenkins, with all the plug-in architecture and all that, is, you know, to me that's the glue. But with this DevOps Express, right? Right. That's the hub, if you will. So yeah, well, let's look forward. Looking forward to seeing it. But for now, we'll call it a day. Sasha Lubue. Labouré. Labouré, like Labor Day without <laughs> the D. We got that. Hey man, you got. You should be really proud though. This was an amazing event. The company's doing great. Continued success. Thank you. Thank you. This is Alan Schimmel for DevOps.com.